Hello there, welcome back to Tani. My name is Hannah and I'm so happy you're here. Today I'm finally going to decorate the house of my favorite villager, Deirdre. So let's go. <laughs> I'm starting off by landscaping, by terraforming this, this part. This is where you come up back there, with the incline, and then you walk. You walk this land bridge towards Deirdre's house. It's pretty isolated from the wet, from the rest of the island, but it's still pretty close to Dobie's and mine house. I decided to add a small hill here and a waterfall just to give everything a bit more of a dimension because just having two tiers, while well, it makes sense to save for in clients. It feels a bit, a bit flat when I decorate with them, so I use third tiers for decorations, like here. Also, as you can see, the campsite is down there, and I wanted to feel really nestled into the hills, and surrounded by, by nature and far off from civilization. Although the town is just around the corner, but you don't have a lot of space in this game, so I like using cliffs to create extra extra ways and make everything seem a little more far away from each other than it actually is. I don't really terraform a lot and I'm not really good at it so doing this part especially was really frustrating. that would fix it. So here we go, I think with this the waterfall tower hill something is pretty much complete. I struggled a lot with it but I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out.
adding some custom designs but other than that I don't think I'll decorate this, this area more I don't think I will put up some furniture, maybe a bench but I like creating areas with just with just flowers, bushes, trees, fences and path designs. it with decorating so I'm moving on to the rest of to the rest of the small land bridge I guess you can call it this path coherently is because Deirdre's house in general looks very overgrown like like a cottage it's kind of run down I think it's just this story that I sort of associate with her with her cottage so I feel like this is just an incomplete wood path where the just simply not all the planks are there anymore because of age and the weather sort of wearing everything down no one really bothered with fixing it So the next thing I'm doing is clearing out all the trees here because I'm also going to add another level here.
I just really want the museum area and Deirdre's area to feel a lot more disconnected from each other than it would be with just the fans so that you can't see Deirdre's house from the museum and that's kind of the reason also just in general a little more dimension and to make everything not so flat and more detailed I was hugely inspired by those islands on, on Twitter and Instagram by, by these really talented people who are very detailed terraforming and I really wanted to try my hand at it as well
wasn't too sure about the kettle bathtub when I placed it and honestly I feel like it's a really nice item but also it just feels too big for outside furniture like wherever you place it, it just takes up the whole space and sort of it it demands too much attention you could say that it becomes the focus of every scenery it looks really weird i think next to a house you could make it into like a a witch cult meeting area or something <laughs> but it doesn't work for yards in my opinion I wish it were a bit smaller I think I unintentionally picked out the Atlas Moth model because it fits her house and her design color theme very well. I think that was unintentional, but I think it works just perfectly. Well, usually, at first, I felt a bit weird about placing the models outside because they always look a bit unnatural, but I mean. I like it now. I'm also adding a bamboo tree and a bamboo stool here as some bamboo furniture but yeah the bamboo partition also didn't really work I don't really know how to decorate with the bamboo items I think it's just I think they're super pretty but same time they don't work with my feet I think also obviously the mush furniture for Deirdre is a must since that's her whole house theme. I don't really see Deirdre as a character who who reads a lot because she's an OG and her hobby is play but every villager in my island needs to have a reading spot. It's just it's a requirement.
I'm just trying to figure out if I can access the back part from the bench, but I can't, so I'm making the river but smaller. I'm just adding some land so she can get back there. I also absolutely love the signpost. It's one of my favorite DIYs, I think, both the signpost and the angle signpost. I just need to add the menu everywhere. It's so good to see her <laughs> already scouting out what I'm doing to her lovely yard. I'm really happy with how it's coming along. It just looks a bit sad with the background all desolate and undecorated. I do have some ideas what I want to do back there, but nothing concrete yet, so I'm waiting with that. For now, it's just a very good area for Deirdre to do her, to do her zoomies in. <laughs> So once I get yellow roses, because my shop hasn't offered them yet, I will definitely craft her a flower card in one of my old islands. Deirdre had a little flower shop and it was like themed in fall colors of course. And I really like that idea, so I kind of want to rebuild it less obvious like just give her a lot of yellow red and orange flowers in the flower card maybe a stall with some seeds and saplings
I'm just adding some final details like the leaves and the rock and then I'm pretty much finished. Thank you so much for watching, maybe leave a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed it, it's a huge motivation for me, I hope you're having a lovely day or night and I'll see you next time.